we want to evaluate the expressions. Notice we have addition and subtraction, which have the same priority in the order of operations, and therefore we add and subtract from left to right. Looking at the first expression, we begin by determining a negative 32 plus 8. Notice here the negative 32 is going to outweigh the positive 8, and therefore this sum is going to be negative. If we think of this in terms of money, the negative 32 represents a loss of $32, and the plus 8 represents a gain of $8. If we lose $32 and gain $8, we are still down $24, and therefore the sum is negative 24. If we use the formal rules for adding integers, we are adding integers with different signs, and therefore we begin by determining the absolute value of both integers. The absolute value of negative 32 is positive 32. The absolute value of positive 8 is positive 8. And now we subtract the smaller value from the larger value, which gives us 32 minus 8, which is 24. And the sign of the sum is the sign of the original number with the larger absolute value, which is the negative 32, which is why the sum is negative 24. Next we have minus negative 39. Subtracting a negative is the equivalence to adding a positive, and therefore minus negative 39 is the equivalence to adding 39. And now to find this last sum, notice how the positive 39 is going to outweigh the negative 24. Thinking of this in terms of money, the negative 24 represents a loss of $24. The plus 39 represents a gain of $39. So if we lose $24 and gain $39, we are up $15, which is why the sum is positive 15. Or again, following the rules for adding integers with different signs, we take the absolute value of both integers. The absolute value of 39 is positive 39. The absolute value of negative 24 is positive 24. And now we subtract the smaller value from the larger value which gives us a difference of 15, because the positive 39 had the larger absolute value, the sum is positive 15. Let's look at a second example. Notice here we have negative 26 minus negative 5, which is equivalent to negative 26 plus 5. So let's write the expression as negative 26 plus 5 plus 7. We're going away from left to right. We have negative 26 plus 5. The negative 26 is going to outweigh the positive 5. This first sum is going to be negative. In terms of money, the negative 26 represents a loss of $26. The plus 5 represents a gain of $5. So if we lose $26 and gain $5, we are still down $21. This first sum is negative 21. Or again, using the formal rules for adding integers, we take the absolute value of both integers. Subtract the smaller value from the larger value, which does give us 21. However, because the negative 26 had the larger absolute value, the sum is not positive 21, it's negative 21. And then we have plus 7. In this sum, the negative 21 is going to outweigh the positive 7. The sum is going to be negative. In terms of money, if we lose $21 and then gain $7, we are still down $14, and therefore the sum is negative 14. Or again, using the formal rules for adding integers, we take the absolute value of both integers. The absolute value of negative 21 is positive 21. The absolute value of 7 is 7. We subtract, 21 minus 7 is 14. But again, because negative 21 had the larger absolute value, the sum is negative 14, not positive 14. I hope you found this helpful.